Hello, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back. And today I am doing the hashtag pick a pocket, hosted by Hazel Ananaka Designs 7071. And I was tagged by Tammy Van Antwerp Art, and I'm not sure who I'm going to tag. But I will have to pick somebody to tag. So, don't know. Let me think about that. Let's do this to start with. So first you're going to want to cut your double pocket in a size. So I have cut mine at five and a half by eight and a half and I'm going to fold it in the middle like a note card. Now I could fold it a little different if I wanted to but I might want to use the other piece for something else. So I'm actually going to score this at four and a half inches here. Four and a half. That doesn't look right. It isn't. Hmm. Oh, because it should only be four and one fourth. Four and one fourth. Let's try that. Now, this is going two ways. <laughs> if I have this way and that way. So I want it to just go this way. And I'm going to bring it down below this a little bit. Actually, you know, I should just show you with my note cards because that's the easiest way. But what I want to do now is score this at a half of an inch here. So that'll be at five on that end. And that'll be at a half an inch on this end. So if you had like a note card like this, just a note card, then now you have have it like this. And it's okay that this is up there. Don't worry about that right now. Do not worry, I say. So we are going to cut this to the line or make a little V cut here. Right here. And over here's, over here's, over there's. Sounds like rabbit ears, rabbit there's. Okay. Now we're going to fold the these lines on the front one in. And these on the back, they're going to go backwards. Okay. So now we have two wonderful pockets. Now, this doesn't really work for us because we're going to have to cut this one down a little bit. So let's go ahead and cut off about an inch to an inch and a half on this one. So I think I did about an inch. There we go. Let's see, about one inch. I guess it's one and a fourth of an inch. There we go. Now we could, if we wanted, we could put this one back there. Like so. If I did cut this right, and it would look like it's still there. It would be like a hidden pocket almost. So we could do that by gluing this back there and then trimming this part off. Shall we try that and just see if we get kind of a hidden pocket there? Let's do. I'm just curious now. I'm a curious girl. I hear you. You're saying, what is she doing? And what paper pad is she up to using? Is she getting new paper? <laughs> I hear you. I did. I got some new paper. Okay, so I'm going to trim that off 
Why I'm using my squatty scissors, I don't know. Not used to using them. We might not even get along that good, to be honest with you. I prefer my big long scissors. Okay. So those little bits away, I'm not saving them. Going to go ahead and cut this a little bit off. We sure don't need it now. There we go. Okay. Now, see that kind of hides that. But we don't want it to be too hidden. So let's find our ink. Oh, here's our orange. We could use orange. Let's use orange. I like orange. My dad loved orange. I don't love orange, but I love an orange sunset. There is that. And this is still fall stuff, so it can be brown or orange. Either one would be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to trim these little bits here. There. And I'm going to go back here and do the same. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's glue this one down to that one. And then we have our first pocket done. We don't have to glue the bottom on this side because it already gets caught right there. Okay. So there is our first pick a pocket that looks like that. So let's do another one. Um, and we kind of want something to go with this one, so um, heck, let's just do this one. It looks just like it. No, we don't want to do that, do we? Let's take this one. This is a um, card, one that is a note card. I'm going to cut that little white piece off. It has a fold in it already. Right there. It's got some nice fall colors there. And we don't have to put paper on the inside of this one. We just have to cut off our inch and a half. Or whatever it is. Inch and a fourth. There we go. Okay. And now we'll score it. And if you don't like this color inside, not this color, this color inside, then you can put something over it. So I'm going to score that one at five and then score the half inch on this side and we're going to cut that little V in there where these lines all come together, these three. Well it seems like three lines but it's actually just two. There. Easy peasy. Mountain breezy. Fold that in. We don't have to worry about the back. It's already taken care of. Unless you want it to be another hidden pocket, in which case we just add that other piece back on. Whoops, I forgot to trim my corners. Oh well, not this time. We're not going to trim them. Take that, corners. See what I think. Okay, we'll trim them here though. That will go to the back. Simple, simple, simple. Very, very simple. Okay. 
there we go okay now I think I'm going to trim this corner just slightly like so just to give it a little bit of I don't know character tiny characters I think it looks nice tiny bit of character on each one there we go so now we have this and this and so we need a little something over here we can put this down here for a little pocket should we do that We could. We'll have to trim that corner off again. But it goes with it that way. I kind of like that. Or we could just do, oh, we could do a side pocket. I love side pockets. And that leaves more pumpkins. Let's just do a side pocket. We have to cut that off right out there. Okay. Now we'll go here, 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 and here. Probably should have made a little thumb notch in there because it kind of gives it a little more character there too. But we didn't do that. Okay, so there's that. And have some bright orange here. No. Although a little bright orange right there. Oh, I know. Just a little square on there or something. leaf. Oh, that's not even a whole leaf. I grab that. Which one do I want? That one right there. <laughs> Cutting it all up just so I can have one little leaf. There you go, see? Just one tiny little leaf is all I wanted. I could have fussy cut it. I didn't want to do that. A little bit of orange on it. And we're going to put it right there. And we're going to glue it down. And let's see. Hmm. Thought maybe I had some thread around here, but I don't. I don't have it. Just going to put this on there for a fall pocket. There we go. Now we need. in here don't we oh look at that perfect that's a perfect um, card to um,
Yeah, so we have one to go in here. I think we can make it a little bit shorter. We'll put that one back there. Let's bring this one up to the front. And we'll cut it off right about here. Right about there. There. Okay, so right about here. Nice fat little card there, isn't it? Is this one a little fatter? Oh yeah. You want the same fatness as this one. I made it just slightly thinner. So that's going to go on a page, and you'll have two journaling cards there. I think I want to cut this one off just slightly. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. So these, of course, would become journaling cards, and they would go here and here. So we would put something on the back of those. And I guess that would be a nice little quick pick-a-pocket. I feel like it needs something else. Um, we do have some stuff stickers here. These belong to my aunt. And when she passed away, Kathy gave them to me. Um, let's do this for fall. For the fall, fall stuff. There some cute little sticker on there. That's okay. We love a good cookie. I'm going to give it a little bit of orange. Because I just love orange. Not as much as my dad did. But my dad did like orange. Very nice. Very cute. And so we have this one. Um, we put that on there. Well, let's dress this one up with some kooky stuff. There we go. <laughs> just, just making pockets. I'm going to um, I've lost my ink, to be honest with you. Oh, here it is. Upside down on the table. And if you mess up like I did, you can maybe open this <laughs> and get the inside. And if you can't, then you just put a piece of paper in there and do it that way. 
So they are very quick and very simple fall pockets. This one needs a card in it as well. So we have this one for the back. And we'll put one in the front here. Cut that one off. That looks just right. So we got a front and a back pocket, just like that. And we could cut those into tag shapes, but probably I would um, round them or something. Yeah, I would probably, since they're a bigger one, I'd probably half inch round them. And then I would decorate the front maybe with a piece of lace across the top or I'd keep it pretty simple myself but you know I kind of like to keep things like this simple sometimes because it's just easier that way um, and actually adding these um, stickers is not a bad idea I kind of like them, to be honest with you. They're very cute. There we go. So there are two cute little fall cards feel like I need to do something here. Not that. I feel like I need to put something down there for them. What do they need? Oh, hey. There's a fake button. I think I'll put this fake button on there. Gosh, we have these neighbors that we absolutely love. They got kids and she's pregnant again. And this baby's almost due and it's a boy. It's, it weighs over 10 pounds already. <laughs> <laughs> but they need a bigger house and he's been offered a job in Idaho so I just told him today I says well we really like you guys so we're just going to move with you <laughs> he says come on and I was like boy you don't know how serious I we, we've thought about Idaho and Montana and Wyoming I thought about Wyoming probably more than any and, uh, yeah, we have our, our kids here, though, and it would be so hard to to leave our kids and grandkids. I just couldn't do it. Okay, so I think that helped. It needed something more. Um, I could give it even more, but I think that's probably enough for now. So this is my pick-a-pocket, and... Um, I thought I might pick, um, let's see, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to pick Debbie Forward. Hi Debbie, Debbie's a sub of mine. And I'm going to pick, um, 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 um. Oh, let's pick Dahlia at Mandalay Cards and More. That's my second one. And then I want to pick Amy Peterson. Amy, hi. <laughs> Amy is a subby of mine. And she always has um, some great comments. And I really enjoy hearing from her. So Amy Peterson, 
Dahlia at Mandalay Cards and More, and uh, Debbie Forward. So Debbie and Amy, if you would like to send your send a picture of what you make to me, or you don't have to to at all, it's okay. But if you want to, and you want me to share it on uh, the video here, then just send it to Ang, A N G T H O M A at Comcast.net. Just take a picture and send it to me, and I will share it on on here. Up here. You're up there. Hi up there. So anyway, and it is hashtag pick a pocket. So thank you, Tammy, for picking me. And I've picked three more people. And I will list them down below. And I hope you all have a great day. Oh, you want a close up? Since I remembered to put my camera out. <laughs> I just got to remember to put it back now. If I'm going to do this, I have to do that. Okay, quick, pick a pockets. There you go. Love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.